the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you. The light of the pirate moon made it look like it. Do I care what it looked like? No. What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone. <laughs> I don't want your food, matey. I want the sword of the pirate king. And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates. And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast, slashing at our food, and defending ourselves. Ha -ha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. Wow! <laughs> Oh no, you don't! Guess I'm just too quick for you fishies. <laughs> we'll see about that! <laughs> Come and get me! Just regular suit fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Oh. Yeah. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Fish snack. Oh! Whoa! Oh, there you are. Oh! 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 Trixie, look out! Let's try that again. Uh oh. I'll save you, Trixie. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Where'd you go? Still no sign of Quasi, Captain. He could be anywhere. We've got to be close. Captain, I'm picking up some strange noises. It's the same grunting noise we heard when we tried to contact Quasi before. It could be a clue. Lead the way, Shellington. Octonauts, follow those grunts. Stay close, Trixie.
open the back of the guppy. Hup-hoop! Incoming! I know you're in there somewhere. Forget it. Well, she's not coming out of there, is she? Phew. Thanks, Captain. Who's your new friend, Quasi? This here is Trixie the Triggerfish. A grunting triggerfish, of course! And this octafloat is her home. It protects me from the birds up above and the big fish down below. Well, Trixie, it looks like you need that octafloat more than we do. I have an idea, Captain. If we leave this octafloat out here, it can be your job to guard it. OK, Trixie? I don't think that'll be a problem. You got that right. We triggerfish always protect our homes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Force of habit. <laughs> <laughs> It. My lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was it? In here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And you're staying there if you know it's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Sea snakes! Yes, we are one, two, three sea snakes. Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Uh, don't overdo it. Ah, yeah, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. But it's stuck. Oh, no. The eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back. Fast. You've got to get out of there. Now. Almost got it. Yes. Time to skedaddle. Ah, let's pass up. What are you doing in my home? Peso, grab on. Yeah. Hey! You. Nice work in there, Peso. Quasi, mission accomplished. We're on our way to pick you up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain. Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're Sea snakes! Yow! Hop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> sea snakes, yo! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Jellyfish ahead, Captain. Uh, uh, I see them. Tweak! We're sinking too fast. 
Any luck with that copter hatch? I'm working on it, Cap. Hey, so you look for the sardines. Shellington, the zebrafish. I'll take the lionfish. No sudden moves now. <laughs> Come here. The zebrafish. Jumping jellyfish. Just one fast. Go. In you go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Lily, you ask for this. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Louie. Let's get out of here. Hey, so, Quasi's been stung. Meet me in the sick bay immediately. <laughs> Hot water should make the sting feel better, Quasi. Aye, it already does. But we're all in hot water if we don't fight those pesky, poisonous lionfish. At least the zebrafish are safe. The sardines! We have to get to it before the lionfish do! <laughs> there they are. You handle the sardines, Peso. I'll take care of the lionfish. Just one fast go. Yeah. Oh. The sardines are safe. Just one fast go. <gasps> A pot of whales straight ahead. <laughs> Let's get out of here! Sorry, Tuna. After them! Come on, Louie. Let's swim out of here once and for all. Hey, another good idea, Lily. Captain, the lionfish are heading for the launch bay. Ah, understood. Tweak, the lionfish are heading your way. Is the octo hatch closed? I'll have it closed faster than you can see. Munchie, munchie, the crunch cats. It's closed, Cap. Good work, Twig. Let's split up and look for them. We never did get our snack. Hey, how about him? Mm. Captain, we're clear of the whales. And not a moment too soon. Everyone, get ready to flip. <laughs> Just one fast go. Oh, gotcha. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm, no sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see, who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi, stop that stew! Octonauts to the kitchen. Jump. Kelp coming up, mateys! Oh, nowhere to hide! What's pirate for don't eat me? Stop that stew! <coughs> what did you say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp! What? Where? In your paw! Shiver me whiskers! Do your worst, pirate! But, but don't hurt us! I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay.
Octonauts. Our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now, where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gup E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the Guppe! A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp, kelp. More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Whoa! <laughs> 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 Gotcha! You're safe now! Whoa, thank you! Don't worry, little fellas! I've got your dad! Dad! You're safe! I'm coming, boys! I'm just fine! Astronauts! Octonauts, meet the greatest cat pirate who ever lived! My granddad, Calico Jack! Calico Jack! Good to meet you. Smile. Tis the greatest of pleasures, Octonauts. But now is not the time for talking. We still need to find the hidden city. Come on, mateys. It's just on the other side of this marsh. You mean our marsh? Which we will let you pass through. Thank you for helping us. Come on, everybody. To the hidden city! This must be it. Get ready to feast your eyes on... Where is it? Yeah, it should be right here. <sighs> After all that... Wait! Huh, the tidal bore must have filled the lagoon with muddy water and now it's washing back out. Look! Oh, oh shiver me whiskers. Freshwater sponges! Incredible! Well, I guess this is your hidden city, Quasi. You mean there's no treasure? Oh, tis the hunt for the treasure that counts, Quasi. But we've had ourselves a wild one. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Dumping jellyfish. These fish, I've never seen anything like them, any of them. They're all new species. This really is a treasure. Well done, you two. <laughs> They're beautiful. That's my work. Well, Quasi, time for me to set sail. <gasps> oh, I've spent enough time here in the Amazon. I've got a lot more adventures to have, treasures to find and swashbuckling to do. <laughs> what say you join me? Me? Go with you. Picture it. Calico Jack and Quasi, together on the seven seas. Granddad, I... Quasi, come and have a look at these fish. There's a really fast one you're going to love. Well, Quasi? Oh, it would be an honour to set sail with you, Granddad. But there's only one ship I sail on now, and that's the Octopod. The truth is, I'll always have the heart of a pirate, but I'm an Octonaut now. Yeah. Oh. I understand. Tis a hearty crew you've got there, Quasi. You're a good pirate and a brave octonaut. Come on, Pete. Get a flap on. Ah. Fare thee well, Quasi. Ah, goodbye. Keep an eye out for me wherever you set sail. Aye, aye, Grandad. Aye, aye.